as we've been reporting, the deregulation and prospect of deregulation has been a powerful force in the stock market. And tonight we look at what it could mean in the housing industry. Lenders and builders are excited about its potential. And as Diana Olick reports, rule changes could also have a big impact on buyers, sellers, and the health of housing overall. If you're shopping for a home this weekend, you probably already know the pickings are slim. There are very few existing homes for sale, and the home builders aren't adding enough. Why not? They blame, in part, regulation. There's just too much government interference, too much regulation, which drives up the cost of housing uh, and lowers the builder's profit margins. Local, state, and federal regulation compliance costs now make up about 25% of the cost of a new home, according to the National Association of Home Builders. That's up over 30% in just the last six years. Builders are looking to President Trump to lower their costs. Some of the uh, regulations that were enacted in the last administration are at least starting to be talked about being rolled back. Uh, there was a couple have, have uh, actually happened, but I think uh, that is going to be a big big uh, positive impact for our industry and we're pretty excited about it. So excited in fact that a monthly reading of home builder sentiment in March jumped to the highest level in 12 years even though builders are still selling historically few homes. That divide between sentiment and sales is wider than ever. And that confidence could come right back down. Home builders are still facing a severe shortage of land and labor and mortgage rates are rising. But lenders say that's another area where deregulation could help. As an industry, we're hopeful that softening of regulations will promote liquidity coming back into to the mortgage market. That would be good not only for the industry as a list volume, but it's going to provide greater credit availability to consumers. Mortgage rates are still historically low, down considerably in the past decade. The difference today, though, is that most of the mortgage market is government-backed, with very strict credit requirements to get the loan at all. Deregulation could change that. So I think you really look at look for opportunities where Fannie and Freddie, FHA and VA just do not serve the consumer. And then you come up with new programs that ultimately will satisfy that customer experience because not everybody fits into that box. Which is why so many today still can't buy a house. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.